What's good, sports gamers? And now we're going to go over the top five highest rated defensive rookies that will begin Madden 19. All right, let's get it. And the highest rated defensive rookie in Madden 19 was also the fourth highest overall. So congratulations, Rokon Smith. He and Leonard Floyd will be one of the best young linebacking duos in the game. I caught a few interceptions with Floyd in Madden 18 dropping back in the cover because he was crazy fast and the whole he's 6'6 part. That's the thing with Smith, he's only 6'1", which isn't short or anything, but imagine if he was like 6'4", 6'5", like Carter on the Giants, or the dude the Bills got. But he still will be 89 speed and an already above average coverage linebacker, so he's gonna be making plays regardless of his height and if you're in control of him or not. He's gonna be a fun player to see develop in leagues, that's for sure. Second at an 80 is Bradley Chubb. As mentioned, Chubb will have the rare blend of size and speed for a defensive lineman. He'll begin with 85 finesse move and 87 block shift, so he should make an instant impact day one. So good luck facing the Denver Broncos users. Now the guy I'm glad the Cowboys didn't end up with is Derwin James, who is tied for the second highest overall for a defensive rookie at an 80. This dude is going to be a straight up stud, man. He's 6'3 and will have 90 hit power and 90 speed. That's really all you need at safety. Then he will have 81 man cover, so if you possibly want to move him to cornerback, he won't be completely clueless. He's the prototype that you want on every team and the Chargers were lucky enough to land him. Adding him to a defense with the I will block shed everything Joey Bosa is really not right. He's definitely going to go a lot earlier in fantasy drafts than Chubb I feel. At 4 is Denzel Ward. When I saw Ward was picked fourth in the draft, I laughed and said, ha, <laughs> typical Brown. Basically for no reason. But after seeing this dude's Madden stats, I changed my mind a little bit. 95 speed and 95 agility is good money against any wide receiver, so he won't be getting burnt. And that 92 jump will help him possibly deflect some throws that do go over his head. Browns definitely have a nice young cornerback to build up with Ward now. And rounding out the top five is Vita Vea at a 79. They know he's not going to be a pass rusher starting out, but will definitely stop the run with the 97 strength he has. But what's that block share rating though? The Bucks got a nice defensive line now with him, JPP, McCoy, and Curry. Okay, y'all. But with that, what do you guys think of the ratings? Did any of the guys on the list deserve to be higher, lower, and who's somebody you think deserved to have made the top five? Leave it in the comments down below. And stay tuned here at Sports Gamers Online for more Madden 19 content, so make sure to subscribe if you haven't. And once you're with us, hit that bell icon at the bottom so you don't miss anything we put out. I'm Chris. Thank you all for watching. And be good, y'all.